let's talk about multiplication patterns. First of all, what are patterns? Let's look at some creepy bugs. Let's look at the first column and see if we can find a pattern. I see pink, blue, pink, and blue. Now we know the pattern. So we could guess the color of the bug if there was another one added to our pattern. Let's look at the second column. Do you see the pattern? What about the third column? And what about the fourth column? Well, why is it important to notice patterns? Finding the pattern makes things easier to remember. So let's look for some patterns in multiplication. We're going to look at a multiplication chart. Let's look at the row beside the six. What do you notice about those numbers? If you said that they are skip counting by six, you are correct. They are also known as multiples of six. Let's find another pattern. Next, we have a hundreds chart. We're going to look at the numbers that are highlighted in blue. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. What do you notice about those numbers? If you said they are skip counting by four, you are correct. They are also known as multiples of four. Let's look for another pattern. Next, we have a multiplication chart, and we're going to look at the column underneath the four and then the row next to the four. What do you notice about those numbers? When you change the order of the factors, you still get the same product. Let's look at eight. We have two times four equals eight. Now let's look at the row next to four and we see the eight again. Four times two equals eight. We get the same product. Good job. Let's look at a multiplication chart again. What do you notice about the multiples of four, six, eight, and 10? If you said they are all even numbers, you are correct. They can all be decomposed into two equal groups as well. Let's see what that means. Let's look at four. Four is two and two are two equal groups of two. Now let's look at 24. 24 is 12 and 12 are two equal groups of 12 and 16 is eight and eight, or two equal groups of eight. You could go through every number that is highlighted and divide it into two equal groups. Good job, way to find those patterns in multiplication. Now you're ready to give it a go on your own.